Document Studio is an add-on that helps you merge data from Google Sheets and Google Forms. If you're new to Document Studio, I suggest watching the Getting Started Guide. You can find a link to that in the show notes. And if you haven't done so already, please go to documentstudio.pro and install the add-on. So in this example, I'll show you how to merge data from Google Forms with Document Studio. So let's assume you run a company and you have vendors and you require vendors to sign some sort of an agreement. So we'll create a form where they accept that agreement. And once they accept it, a copy of the agreement is sent to their email address. So first, let's create a Google form. We don't need to add the date and time fields here because that is already captured when somebody submits a Google form. I'll make the agreement a checkbox field and I have only one option there, accept. So they will not be able to submit the form unless they hit accept. Next, we'll choose the response destination. Now, this is important because the, this form has to be linked to a Google spreadsheet for the Document Studio add-on to work. So our form is now ready. We'll create a document template uh, that will be merged. So I go to Google Docs and create a new template. I'll just pick one of the ready-made templates. Now this, uh, this has some dummy data, so I'll insert a couple of variable fields here. This is just like any other Google document, so you can change fonts, you can apply colors or use any other visual formatting to make your document more appealing. So the document is now ready and all we need to do is link this document template to a Google form via Document Studio. So for that, we'll open our responses Google spreadsheet and go to the add-ons menu and choose Document Studio from the drop-down. Here we'll select the document that we have just created as our template. Now it shows all the variable fields that it found inside the template. If later you decide to change the template or if you add or remove any variables, remember to re hit the refresh button so that the new changes come into effect. Next, we specify the file name and this again includes variable fields that are surrounded by double curly braces. We'll choose PDF for the export format. Next, we go to the Google Forms Merge section and here we'll design the email. Now, this is the email that will go out whenever somebody submits a form. So when you click the email template button, a nice Visivig editor opens up where you can design your email in rich text. Uh, you can include variable fields in the message body. You can even include your images like your logos inside the body. Uh, for the recipients field, you can choose the email address field from the drop down. 
you can also put static email addresses if there are multiple email addresses you can just separate them by a comma similarly in the email subject field you can again use variables so our email template is now ready and I'll hit save to apply the changes next we go to the Google Drive section and here I'll pick the folder where I wish to save all the merged documents I can also create subfolders so for instance here a new folder would be created for every vendor and all documents for that vendor would go into their own folder so your Google Drive is less cluttered in that case I can choose to share files as soon as they are generated with other people in my organization or with external users. Next we go to the save settings and here I will choose merge on form submit. What this essentially means is whenever a new form submission is received this process will run and a new document would be generated. So let's save the settings and then do a test run so I will open my google form and submit a test entry. So the form is complete, I hit submit and then I switch to the responses spreadsheet and there you see a new row has been added. You'll also find that a couple of extra columns are there and they indicate the status of the merge. So whether the document has been generated or not and whether the email has gone out or not. So there you see the link of the file that was just generated. So the document looks exactly like a template except that the merge fields have been replaced with the actual values and if I switch to my email program and go to the sent items you see that the email has gone out to the vendor also with the document as an attachment. So this was a very simple example but in the next tutorial I'll show you something more advanced how to build a complete ordering system using Google Forms, Google Sheets and Document Studio. Thanks.